Hello and welcome. Today we're sitting down with one of our technical partners, Wherever Sim. And we've used Wherever Sim in some of our testing of our GSN modems, and some of our customers throughout Europe are using their services. We see this as adding a lot of value to our system, and it's an excellent solution for a lot of our customers. So we thought we'd sit down Wherever Sim and with Jamie from Wherever Sim, and we could look through the solution and maybe see if it's a solution that could work for your business. So I'd like to introduce Jamie from Wherever Sim, and she's going to give us a brief introduction of Wherever M2M SIM cards and the services they can offer on their portal. So, hi Jamie, how are you? Hi John, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for introducing me. Uh, so yes, my name is Jamie. I work for uh, Wherever Sim in Hamburg, uh, Germany. So we are B2B a provider for multiple network SIM cards. And that uh, work worldwide, even on your uh, in your uh, Vanderbilt systems or in the systems of your customers. So um, uh, Vanderbilt and uh, wherever them um, already had uh, some experiences uh, together, and I would like to tell you something about the SIM card we are offering. So with our uh, SIM card uh, that works uh, worldwide, there's no uh, network preference and uh, national roaming is possible, not only in Europe, uh, all over the world, as you can see. So we have a worldwide uh, coverage and the only thing you need to do is uh, set the uh, APN, it's WM, um, in your device and then activate your SIM cards in your uh, web portal. I would like to show you something on the web portal. So this is it. It's very simple and uh, and nice to use, uh, um, also for not technical guys like me. <laughs> so um, I already created one. It's a GPS tracker I have in here. As you can see, it's attached. And um, uh, the next time I will use uh, my tracker, it's online. Yeah, it is, and it's locked in. This is something you can uh, always see in your SIM cards. It's locked into the T-Mobile network um, here in Germany, because yes, I am in Germany. And uh, I would like to create another endpoint to uh, add, uh, for example, alarm system front door. And there's another SIM card I can use. And um, there are some service profiles that I can create. So I al uh, already showed you uh, the GPS tracker that's um, on my desk. But um, in this time, I would like to use the burglar alarms uh, service profile that my uh, alarm system is able to use data and uh, also uh, SMS. And uh, the GPS tracker is um, uh, connected to the tariff profile, so it's called uh, Europe One and World One because I would like to uh, to um, go to Russia, for example. And then uh, the uh, data is also sent if I uh, went through Russia. And but in this time, uh, my burglar alarm is only in Germany in Hamburg, so I would like to use the tariff profile only for Europe. And then I could create this uh, endpoint. Now it's offline because there's. Uh, 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 no SIM in the uh, um, burglar system at the moment. So, but as, as you can see, it's really uh, simple and you can see uh, everything here. You could also use the operator blacklist. So if there's uh, any uh, operator um, in your, uh, uh, around you that is not uh, working really good, that you could uh, uh, put it on the operator blacklist. Um, here is the configuration. I already showed you, and at the events I can see, okay, there's something, there's something working. So this is uh, the last move I did with my GPS tracker. And which, if I, yeah? So what you've done now is you've added in a SIM card into your system. Um, so if I was to purchase a SIM card from Weber SIM, I would then take down this number or will the uh, accounts be automatically added to my account? Oh uh, no! All, uh, all your SIM cards would be added to your account. So in this, uh, in my case, there are only two SIM cards because it's only a test account. Yes. So uh, and, and yes. this account is per installer, so it's not actually tied to Vanderbilt at all. It's completely no. It's per it's installer. per installer. That's right. Yes, it's per installer. Uh, so um, if I'm an installer, I could uh, I could create um, the endpoints for us. It's called uh, endpoints. Um, um, 
um, to, uh, uh, for example, if I have uh, a private customer, then I could create the endpoint for the private customer. The private customer could not see anything. It's only the installer who could uh, activate and deactivate the SIM card and can see in which let, uh, network uh, it's logged in and so on. So if I am an, an installer with uh, burglar alarms, but also with fire alarms or also with uh, GPS trackers, um, then I could um, create everything in here and configure uh, the SIM card for the use case I need to. Okay, yes. I, have, I have actually seen quite a lot of the stats and profiles and diagnostics on the system. Perhaps we can have a look at that, because I think that's quite valuable to installers if something is not working to be able to see so uh, yes, that? yes. Um, so um, I showed you the uh, GPS tracker that's on my desk, and um, if I click on events, so it's called, then I can see if everything's fine here. So as you can see, one hour ago I activated the SIM card, and then it locked into the T-Mobile network here in Germany, and the create PDP context means started sending data. And delete PDP context means uh, uh, finished uh, sending the data. So I can see I could see everything over here in the events. And also, if I click on details, then I can see uh, my SIM card is online at the moment. So it's still sending. If it would stop sending, then that would be written attached. I suppose we have discussed this previously, but in terms of working with multiple servers, in terms of reporting servers or working with our own spcconnect.com, the SIM cards are compatible to work with multiple servers at the same time? Yes, yes. Now, now I uh, now I got it. Yes, and um, so it would uh, change uh, switch to the next uh, network if there would be something um, wrong. So if would uh, if T-Mobile uh, would not work at that moment, it would have a little uh, outage or something, then the SIM card would uh, change on its own to the next one. So in Germany, it would be Vodafone or Telefonica, and um, um, uh, yes, this was the question. Yeah, I suppose it was also the fact that if we could talk to multiple servers at the same time, some SIM card providers restrict the SIM card to talk to only their servers, but this SIM card could be used to communicate with spcconnect.com, which is an external service to wherever SIM. Yes, or yes, 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 it is, yes, it's, uh, it, would, uh, it would be able to, um, to talk to um, different servers, yes. Perfect. In terms yes. of the billing and the overview, how do people get started with wherever SIM? Um, uh, so um, on our web page, it's uh, called whereversim.de, there is uh, also an online shop that you could um, uh, buy your SIM cards and um, you could pay via uh, PayPal and also via um, uh, debit direct bank uh, transfer. And um, uh, if you would like to uh, to see what the usage, okay, the October, <laughs> because it's only today, is uh, really small. So um, there you could have a look um, under the tab billing. Um, so I need to pay uh, one cent at the moment, and the monthly fee, of course, for my um, for my active SIM cards. This is something special. I really need to um, pay uh, for my active SIM card. So if I would uh, deactivate the SIM card, there won't be uh, apply any monthly costs in the next month because maybe uh, one of your end customers um, uh, moved, I don't know, uh, to another country and then you have the SIM card back uh, and um, then you won't, uh, you won't need to pay um, anything for that SIM card you are not using. Yes. Okay, thank you. And if Yes, uh, is there um, anything else? Let me have a look. Ah, yes, um, there's um, uh, something important. So everything I can see uh, in the statistics and um, all the, uh, also in the events is in real time. So this is uh, something important um, uh, for you, of course. So SMS are, um, SMS are um, uh, not included in the uh, in the package. If you would like to uh, to um, to book a package, a data package, um, you could do it on your own over there. 
so buy a data package. Um, the SMS are uh, pay, pay, uh, paid uh, per use. So uh, every uh, SMS will be uh, written down on your, on your invoice. Okay, so that means that each SMS will be billed in bulk for all SIM cards. Yes. Okay. Understood. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, Jamie, for this uh, great overview of the portal. Um, we suppose we did test these with the STC N320 uh, during our testing of the device, and we do know a number of customers are using these. So. Yeah, I think Jamie's going to finish off with a summary here, but if you want to know any more, I'm sure she's going to give you details of where to get in contact with wherever sent. Yes, please, please uh, visit our website. It's uh, whereversim.de or contact us directly. So thank you. Thank you, John, that uh, you introduced uh, us, whereversim, and uh, of course me. And thanks for your time. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for taking the time to share this with our customer base. We appreciate it. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.